Hey guys, it's me, Lego Cougar 12, doing a review on the Republic Frigate. Um, I don't have the piece count because this is kind of a weird box, it doesn't have that. But its set number is 7964 and its ages are 9 to 14. This set is now available at Toys R Us, Lego.com. I think that's pretty much it on that factor there. Um, I have not hit any Yoda because Yoda is actually a. Uh, part of the set. So you can leave your comments where you found him, but we all know where he is. Um, so, I don't have any of the newer sets right now because I'm broke, so. Anyways, let's make do what, what we have here. Alright, so, let's start with the minifigures. Um, you have, um, Gwen Lenroth, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's really detailed, um, little ponytail thing there. Back printing. Um, his lightsaber is actually that new green, which is really awesome. They came out with the new green. It's uh, that stupid yellow color. It's a green. So, one last look. Quitting the loss. Next up, we have the Wolf Pack Clone Trooper. So, he is really cool. We can get to focus on that little part up there. Kind of has like a little wolf head up there. You can see, um, nice printing there. Just really detailed. He comes with a jetpack. Awesome, awesome. And he has just a standard, normal clone trooper head. So nothing too special with him, with the face that is. But everything else, fantastic. New figure. I think all these are new except for Yoda. So, except you have Commander Wolfie, Wolf or Wolfie, I'll just call him Wolf. Um, so, he's really awesome. The detail on his helmet is fantastic. It looks like he has a wolf on it. And his feet there, awesome. His face, Lego. Thumbs up for Lego for this, actually. Two thumbs up and a clap or something. Look at that face. It That's incredibly detailed right there. Um, I haven't seen Wolfie in the Clone Wars series, so I'm not sure if that's what he really looks like, but Lego has it like that, or how he got the scars. Lego did an awesome job. Next up, you have Yoda. Same old Yoda from the Republic of Salt tank, AT, attack, or assault, something, um, green lightsaber, rubber head, well, it's not really rubber, it's rubber, but it doesn't squish a lot, like platoons or something, so just a, your standard little Yoda, um, then you have, East Cough, um, Lego did a fantastic job on him. You have those spikes there, the hair. Oh. And let's try to take off his hair, but his head comes off. Oh, well. Um, there's his body. Does he have back printing? Yeah, he does. You know, Lego's starting to get really good with the back printing stuff, so. Quentin the boss. Or East Cough, <laughs> wrong guy. Um, so that's all with the minifigures. So let's just get on to the main set. Alright. Uh, Alright, um. Okay, so let's, let me zoom in here. Let's go to the cockpit. 
So, there's the cockpit area. Um, let's rotate this just a bit. So, as you can see, it has like a window and it opens. Just really cool detail up front there. If I can get it to. You have the satellite here. Excuse me. Um, so then you have that detail there and these guns. Um, so just kind of a little cool function here. You there's this thing on the side here that you just pull and it drops the escape pod. Just drops it. And that just opens up. There you have an escape card. Put it back together. And just shove it up there. And just lock it back in. Alright, let's kind of go to the side now. Alright, so... This is really cool in here. I think this is the side. Yes. Oh, shoot. I forgot to put that in there, but let's see. Um, if you can see that in there, maybe do this. So if you can see in there, let me just grab another light. You have that screen there, and that's the lightsaber holding. And that little plate right there normally will uh, have like a hologram of the emperor or somebody. I think I think it's the emperor, but I forgot it in my clone base. Wasn't really thinking until just now when I realized it's not in here. So that's that inside part. You out here, just over here. You get these amazing looking guns. Full on spin. Same with the bottom, so they don't rotate, they just go up and down, up and down, up and down. Alright, let's go to the next side. So, in there, you just... nothing really too special. It's just the mechanism for the bomb drop, which I'll show you later. You have two extra bombs there, and just right here, just a box with binoculars in it. So, nothing really... It is really cool, just not as cool as the other side, I guess. Alright, let's move on to here. Right here, you have a little... Man, it broke. Kind of a cockpit there. You sit a guy in there, and it will control this back turret. The last one of this model, the cruiser, it didn't have that. It, it it just had a bunch of satellites. So let me just go on to the boosters now. Um, very detailed engine booster things. Just fantastic job by Lego. This set is one of Lego's best, I think. It it just blows me away how good they did. So that's just kind of the stuff of the Republic Brigade there. Um, let's just put this back on, and I'll show you the bomb drop. All right, so let's see if I have it in there first of all. <laughs> I do. Alright, so. So, say it's flying in. We'll show you on this side. And if you see. Oh, I had the right set. Oh, and it fell out. Shoot. Sorry, one fast. One second, please. One fast little second. Alright, um. I had the right set in first, please. 
Alright, so if you see right here, it's like a little black knob there. What you do is you pull that, and the bomb drops. And, oh, there it is. And this is what the bomb looks like. So, that's pretty much it for the Republic Forget. Um, just excellent detail. Just, it is worth the $120. Really is. Um, so, go out and get it, because you'll be impressed, and it's lots of fun, lots of playability. So, the, please comment, rate, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.